the sun's starting to set. It was a pretty good day. I'll tell you what though, I am thirsty. It is dry. The old desert sun and high elevation. Did I say elevation? <laughs> Solo Hunter is brought to you by Under Armour. Never detected, always lethal. And by G5, designed to hunt. Carbon Express, shoot better. GTAC Safety Harness, experience the freedom to hunt. And by Prime, accuracy is everything. I'm gonna be a beast of a pack out of here. I'm gonna go fire, eat it. Take it out of my stomach. Maybe at that threshold where it's like I could be that guy that just goes crazy. I'm back. Up here, what? What more do I have? Oh, she's all loaded up. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. Hungry, eat, thirsty, drink. Cold, make a fight. You wonder why I'm crazy? That's why. It's the night before the season, and uh, just rolled into this to my camp spot here. Um, just gonna be sleeping in the back of the truck. Sometimes, you know, it's uh, it's cool to set up a big camp, but this is a new area for me. Never hunted here before, so um, instead of investing a lot of time in a camp that I'm not even sure that's where I'm gonna hunt, it's easier to just stay mobile. Uh, I'm gonna get up in the morning and kind of glass and scout and hunt the same time you know I've only got limited time so um, instead of coming out before the season I figure I'll use all my time to uh, hunt while the season's open. Opening morning in the high desert and there's nothing in the world like it. Even though I've never set foot in this area before things are looking good. There's plenty of amazing deer country all around me. The plan is to glass till I find a buck. To my surprise, it did not take long. I immediately locate a bachelor group with one really big buck in it. This is big country and I've got a lot of ground to cover between me and those bucks. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get over there and plan a stalk. stock looked good up until the point where some dude just came walking over the ridge talking really loud not paying attention a new area you just never know where a bunch of people are gonna be this whole canyon is loaded with guys when I talk to them their plan for bow hunting mule deer is to one guy walk around and then scare them up 
all around and maybe have one run past you. That makes no sense. Uh. The official knives and game processing sets for Solo Hunter are from Outdoor Edge. Quality knives and tools for all your outdoor adventures. Protected by Venture Medical Kits and survive outdoors longer. Expect the unexpected. For all of our season updates or share your photos and videos with the world, search us out at Solo Hunter TV on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Caldwell Shooting Supplies. Versatility for every shooter, accuracy for every shot, only from Caldwell. So much country to cover, I'd be surprised if I don't pick out a buck in here. I mean, it's beautiful looking sage benches, a little bit of, there's like a creek in the bottom, a little bit of cover and rocks. I mean, they've got shade, they've got food, they've got water. There should be some deer in here. still up before he beds because he could walk through the trees or whatever and bed somewhere and I may not see him so I think I'm going to take my chances. Sometimes it's better to bed him, sometimes it's better to get closer and then watch him. So I think I'm going to take my chances, get at least a mile closer and see if I can uh, pick him up again. got a group of deer in the mahoganies. Um, there's a rim above the mahoganies and then there's a kind of like this little rock ledge to the left as well. There's a lot of deer in there, mostly does, but I have seen at least four bucks. Um, the trouble is, is when they were up higher, the wind was blowing where I'd have a perfect approach, but the wind would have been blowing right toward them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of chill out here and see what happens maybe figure out exactly which patch they bet in and give it a little bit of time for the wind to shift. Um, it's almost nine o'clock right now. So the wind will probably change in about an hour or two. It's kind of, that's what it did yesterday. So I'm kind of banking on the fact that it'll start going a different direction. Um, and I think I'll be able to crawl up to this rock pile and then just sit and wait because I'm pretty sure if they bed in those mahoganies, they're gonna be there for most of the day and then they'll start feeding out and I'll have a better chance of getting it on film and getting a shot if I'm just set up in a spot where I think they'll come out to. Let's go dive. Archery mule deer hunting is about being flexible. I have to get into a new position to try to get a shot at these bucks.
That didn't work out as planned. It came up and they were still bedded. And uh, I think when I was setting the camera up, possibly a little bit of sun glare or something, one doe caught me. And uh, it wasn't completely spooked. I don't think she really knew what I was. And uh, the other one's buck filed out. And I arranged him and he was a little bit far. And then uh, as I was watching that buck, I didn't see just to my left another buck stood up. I turned and put the camera on him. And uh, by the time I got him ranged and drawn back, just as I drew, like finished drawing back and settled in, I was just about to shoot and he walked off. And then he got behind some brush. And then he just got too far out of range. It was close. That was cool. Dang. That's, that right there is about as close as it gets about, uh, about releasing the trigger. Solo Magnified is brought to you by Vortex, the force of optics. As solo hunters, we have a lot of gear to pack around, so sometimes it becomes difficult to decide what to take on the mountain and what to leave in the truck. If we could recommend one thing to never leave back, it would be the spotter. Spotting scopes have become a major tool to the western hunter's arsenal. Take this hunt of Remy's as an example. After having a stock blown by another hunter, it would have been easy to cash it in and head for camp until the evening. But because Remy was packing his spotting scope, he could find a shady vantage point and continue to pick apart the hillside. This strategy helped him to find another bedded buck. Hunting for big deer is one thing, but finding them is another. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Random Gear, makers of the Solo Hunter rifle cover, your gun's best protection against the elements. Phone Scope, digiscoping accessories for your smartphones, pads, GoPros, and DSLRs. The future of digiscoping is here. one's already fed over so let's get the video on him and, and see what happens yesterday I got close but just not close enough today right at daybreak I got back into another group of bucks the rest of my day is gonna be trying to figure out how to get a stock on these deer The hardest part about filming myself is messing with audio. Half the time, my batteries run out in my microphone and I don't even know it till I get home. I say a lot of cool things in the field, but this time you aren't gonna hear them. I just spotted the buck. He's nice, like ears wide, four by four. a long stalk all the way around the mountain and come over the back side of where these deer are. I think there's some rock outcroppings I can get to. They'll be perfect cover to wait for the deer to stand up after bedding. I think I'll be able to sneak into a spot where later on the deer will hopefully mill past. This hillside apart because if I find one that's in a for sure or a better stocking spot. Nothing's for sure with this, but find 
something easier to stop. I'm not partial. Deer's a deer. After waiting for a while, the deer started to move and I had to quickly reposition. Well, sit here till it happens. Well, it happened the wrong way. It ran away. <laughs> that didn't work out as planned. I got in here 35 yards. Set myself up for the waiting game. That's classic spot in stock meal here. You sit, you wait for him to walk out, hammer time. And uh, the wind didn't cooperate, man. Take advantage while it's snowing. Just to show you why. You know why I packed the rifle cover. It's snowing here and it's cold enough that the snow is not really wet, so it kind of falls off. But you can see the inside of my gun, the scope, the action. Everything is protected from the snow. Extremely water resistant, but it also helps when you're going through the brush and uh, keeping any debris or anything out of your your scope or into your action. If I need to get it off quick, it just pops off real quick. You know, it's just an elastic, a series of elastic bands holding it. So it has an, two elastics on the bottom, one on each side. And then it has two elastics on the side, giving it a nice form fit around the rifle. Until it's time to pull the trigger, uh, this rifle cover is on my rifle. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. Shoot better, shoot Carbon Express. And by True Fire releases, don't settle for anything less. It's the last day of my hunt. If I spot some deer, I'm really going to have to make this stock count. Last night, I don't see the bucks from last night, but I did spot some other bucks in this. Uh this big canyon here about a mile and a half away uh, but there's two nice bucks and one decent buck as i stalk in things went really wrong really quick the wind shifted for just a second i caught the deer's attention and they had me pegged down it looked like this hunt was over before it even really started I was out of cover, out of options, and out of time. That's all she wrote. Ugh, that's archery deer hunting at its finest. Oh no, there they are, on the other side of the mountain. The reason I love bow hunting mule deer so much is because it's not easy. Nothing about it's easy. Try filming myself and it makes it even harder. But that's why I go back year after year. 
It's what I love. It's the challenge of it. It's the experience of being out in the high desert. And it's the thought that any given day could be the day that I get a really big buck with my bow. So...